never beat me. I always beat you. I've been using multiple monitors for a while now. I like them. They've allowed me to see more. I can put my email up. I can, you know, sort of put everything on the screen at once. And now I find myself moving these giant monitors to storage because I no longer use two giant monitors. Well, technically three monitors because my laptop was a screen too. Maybe I was wrong. Three screens. Maybe it wasn't for me. Now, let's talk about what I've learned. Because I've learned a few things about switching from two monitors to one monitor, or at least my reflection. And one of the biggest things that I noticed, so for the last year, realistically, I had one giant monitor, two giant monitors, my laptop monitor, and my phone. So I was surrounded by screens. And by switching to one monitor, what I realized was I'm only able to focus on one project at once. And I think I need that. You see, life has distractions. If you allow yourself to be distracted, you're gonna be distracted. You see, I've been doing this a really, really long time. A really long time. Been in business 15 years. In that 15 years, I've learned a lot. I've made a lot of mistakes. And I never asked for help. I never even asked anyone for advice. Wasn't interested. I thought, I'm gonna figure it out myself. Self-made, right? Then what I started doing was having conversations with peers. Having conversations with people better than me. That's when I realized there's a huge fucking benefit to other people's perspectives. A lot of the time, you're stuck in your own little world and you can't see outside that little world. Kind of like me thinking two monitors, a laptop screen, and two phones in front of me was a good idea. I thought I was just more productive. I could see more at once. I had better visibility. I was wrong and I figured it out on my own. It may not seem like it, but I'm an introvert, right? Is that the cool word to use? I don't generally like people. I don't want to be around people. There's a reason that I film these myself. I could easily hire someone to do it, but I don't want to be around somebody all day like that. I've done it in the past and I hate it. But the problem with being by yourself and missing out on a lot of those big conversations, a lot of other perspectives, different views on how to look at topics, is sometimes you get stuck. I felt stuck before. And all my biggest breakthroughs in feeling stuck have been fixed by talking to a mentor, talking to a peer or someone that I really respect in my friends group giving me their advice. Now, I'm aware that not a lot of people have that. It's not easy to come by. I'm also fully aware I've done everything. I've made tons of mistakes. I'm a fucking mess. I'm a fucking winner. I'm all the different things. I like to do a lot of things. I like multiple screens. It's caused me to make a lot of mistakes, caused me to learn a lot of things, and I found out that I have a lot of knowledge in my head. So I started a coaching group called Clear, Calculated, and Vicious. That coaching group is closed to the public, but we're gonna do something. This Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm opening my coaching group. You can sign up, you can come in. We have weekly calls, we do q and I can help you with your specific business, marketing, branding, life, relationship problems, all right? So if you're interested, there's a link down below clear, calculated, and vicious.com. Now, if you're not interested in that because you don't see the value in the investment or whatever, I'm creating a PDF that breaks down. This feels like a hard sell video. I don't like it. I don't, I feel like I'm hard selling now. We gotta stop. I just don't like it. I started out trying to do the screen thing and, and, and truly tell you that I like using one screen. It's, it's really good. It helps me stay focused on one project. It's great. <sighs> Too many screens is fucking with me. What I'm trying to tell you guys is I am opening back up my coaching group, right? And it gives a, a, a more in depth. I go through like actual branding packages, different things that I'm doing in marketing. Like I give you guys as much insight as I can. I talk numbers, I talk structuring deals. And then at the end, we do 20 minutes of Q and A where like you bring your specific life, business, relationship questions to me and, I, and, and we can talk through it, right? There's also tons of valuable people in the group that can also help you with things through our app. So if you're interested in signing up, it's below whatever. If not, right? I'm gonna give you my whole entire formula for nothing. 
not nothing, but maybe we'll do like 20 bucks, all right? I'll give you the entire course for 20 bucks. So the way that the system roughly works, I sat down, I tried to figure out, Rob, Rob, why do you have such an amazing warehouse? Why do you have all the cars that you wanted? Why do you have an H1 Hummer sitting outside? Why do you have a private gym? Why do you have all these different brands? Why do you, have you been married 16 plus years now? Like, how is it that I get all these things? How is it that I fucking show up and win every single fucking day? And I figured out a plan. I start with dreaming, right? I'm an active fucking dreamer. I get extremely clear of my dream. I get very calculated. I make up rules, regulations, non-negotiables for myself. I set a plan in place. I figure out the skills that I need. And then I get vicious. I fucking execute. It's what I do. That's what I wanna share with you guys. If you guys are interested, the first link below, right? Forget signing up for my group. You can sign up for my coaching group, it's fucking dope. The link below, I'm going to create a PDF for you guys that gives you the whole recipe. Now, I can give you the recipe, I will tell you the flavor to fucking cook it with if you sign up in the group. If you don't sign up in the group, no big deal, no hard feelings. Guys, thanks for listening today. If you took anything from today, forget that fucking shitty hard sale I tried to do. And there's something about a singular screen Something about a singular focus. Something about clearing away the fucking clutter in your life that's beautiful. Guys, we're gonna do a little outro with a song. This song will be out next Friday. I'll see you guys later.